All right, so Matt, where are we? What's uh, special about this coffee shop? So Santo, so this is a, a mom and pop owned coffee shop. Uh, the owner, couple great people. Uh, and I chose this coffee shop for a reason because they have been experiencing a lot of crime down here uh, in the Roosevelt area of all places. Uh, in the last, in their first year open, they've been broken into a rob six times. Uh, so they're struggling. So you didn't pick this coffee shop because you're a Sounders fan. It's owned by <laughs> former Sounder Freddie Montero and his no, wife. That's 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 a subplot to this whole thing. No, it's not. But I am a Sounders fan. Who is Matt Lark? I'm a guy who used to work in the White House for President Bush. I was a speechwriter and a lawyer in his speechwriting office for him. I was a former prosecutor. Uh, and now I'm a business owner. I got into this to make a difference and try to clean up our state a little bit. We've seen rising homelessness, rising drug abuse, rising crime year over year. How does being a small business owner prepare you to, to become an attorney general? It's about leadership. Uh, managing and owning a company with over 500 people, you learn how to, how to do a lot with a little. You learn about efficiency. You learn about results. Uh, results matter in the private sector. Uh, and that's what I bring to this, that, that people don't need another career politician to solve these problems. They need leadership and they need a fresh perspective. So on your, your website, you said that uh, there are no new ideas, no fresh approaches for dealing with homelessness. What's your big idea? Well, I think we need accountability. I think, uh, first of all, 80% of those on the streets are, are mentally addict, are addicted or, or mentally ill. That's a staggering statistic. My plan is to, first of all, get people off of the street, and then we either get them the treatment they need through some kind of a diversion program, or incarceration. And my uncle was an addict living on the street, so this one's personal to me. That's a that's a county, city prosecutor issue, not necessarily an attorney general issue. Absolutely, but it takes a leader. It takes a leader to bring people together. And the attorney general is the state's chief legal officer. Uh, he's the one who should be leading the discussion. As a Seattle guy, are you running as kind of the anti-Seattle candidate? <laughs> I don't know how to answer that one. Frankly, it needs a doctor right now. Seattle needs someone to fix it. Uh, we can't keep going in this trajectory. It's not a good path to be on. So you uh, also said about uh, the incumbent that he is not business friendly enough. What does that mean? Uh, well, he, he doesn't like to support businesses. He likes to sue businesses, frankly. Uh, and it's hard to be a business owner in this state. As a business owner, I know it is. It's a very hard state to be running a business in. A big part of the Attorney General's office is consumer protection mm -hmm. and, and fighting for sure. the people, fighting for consumers. So Absolutely. How do you fight for consumers and still be business friendly? You, you can do both. And I want to refocus all of that size and, and attention, all, that, all of those resources that we have in that office towards solving the problems that matter, which is feeling safe in our communities, physically safe. Not safe from overpriced hand sanitizer, but safe from being mugged in the park. The other issue, uh, and it's an interesting one, it, I, I see that you have said you are not in favor of 1639, and that you have aligned with Lauren Culp on, on that particular issue. So it's a voter approved initiative. Sure. If you were attorney general, would that's you fight question. for the voters? Absolutely, and that's the job of the attorney general. Uh, whether you agree with the law or not, uh, you, you fight for the will of the voter. So I found something that you and your opponent agree on. <laughs> yeah, I guess you did. That's maybe the last thing, but... And uh, we finished a cup of coffee, so thank you for having a drink with me. Thank you. Thanks for sitting down. With Socially me. distanced and everything. Yeah, it with, feels with, like the, with the fresh air blown in. Fresh air feels good.